Hey guys, what's going on? What's going on there? It's Solar Gray, the Cinematic Sorcerer, and today I figured, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you guys just a little bit, just a little bit, a little bit of a thing, a little bit of a thing. Um, as I said, I am Solar Gray, the Cinematic Sorcerer, and I am here, I'm with you guys, and this is another episode of Coffee and Conversation. And this is the quick show where I just talk about a few little things. Just just a few little things, like five minutes here, ten minutes there. I got my coffee, and not only am I going to tell you guys about a conversation, but I'm actually going to show you guys the conversation that we had going. So, um... But before we do all that, I'm going to just get this out of the way. And, of course, let you guys know, send me an email over at backintheDeck at gmail.com. You can also hit me up. That's B-A-C-K-I-N-T-H-E-D-E-C-K at gmail.com. You can also um, <clears throat> check out the other stuff we got on the YouTube channel and all that stuff. If you're watching this on YouTube, just look through the old stuff, not just Coffee and Conversation, but all of our other shows. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram and join Deckers on the Book. That is the Facebook group that a lot of us are part of and we talk about the things we're doing and all that jazz. And, of course, um, head over to SoundCloud where you get the audio of all of our shows. Every single one of our shows that we record, we do all the editing and all that jazz. And we put it up on SoundCloud so that you guys can download it and keep it with you pretty much forever. We're working on a thing with... Um, with Apple Music or iTunes or whatever. Yeah, iTunes, I think it, I, I think it is. I don't know, I'm old, okay? I'm old. I'm, I'm sorry. I was here before this whole internet thing, and I'm still trying to catch up, all right? But um, if you guys want to help us out just a little bit and help us keep the doors open, I would really appreciate it if you guys headed over to the Patreon, and there you get access to pretty much everything that we record and all of our other stuff. Our tiers, hey, look, we got a free show up, and that's cool, free episode of Game Gallery. And um, if you check out all the stuff that we put online, you'll see how far we've come with only the support of the people who have subscribed on Twitch and the people who have... Um, subscribed on youtube and sent individual donations and helped us out with kickstarters and all that stuff but we still got a lot to go with opening up the community centers because traveling around the country buying the books buying the comics and even the gas money to go pick up the donations to tell you the god's honest truth that costs money um and still paying for everything out of my own pocket so i'm trying to make it so that we can do this whole thing full time and i don't have to go to a job where i'm lifting heavy boxes or shoveling gravel, no exaggeration, in order to keep the lights on and all that stuff. Now that we've got all that stuff going, I'm going to say one more time, hit us up over at backinthedeck at gmail.com. Just look at the screen and see all those things. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at the stuff that we're doing. Um, so with that, I wanted to like, you know, talk with you guys about well, conventions in general. As you guys know, last weekend was WonderCon in Anaheim, California. Now, this is done by the same company that puts on San Diego Comic-Con and New York Comic-Con, you know, all the big shows. This is their little show for the people that don't have the two grand to pour into a week-long convention in San Diego, California, where the hotel rooms have been booked for the past six months already. So if you don't want to do that hassle, just head on over to WonderCon in Anaheim um, this time of year. It's already come and gone. It's already come and gone. But um, yeah, there is that. And in two weeks, I believe, yeah, a week from this, well, no, this week is the third. Yeah, as a matter of fact, next weekend, we are going to be at KingdomCon which is a gaming convention. So, of course, there's going to be more cosplay and stuff like that. But this one is set mainly for tabletop board games, tabletop RPGs. Um, we got loads and loads of stuff. This is where I um this is where I tend to get the interviews I get with game creators, um, people putting out new board games, new card games. Um, just more stuff so that the family can sit around the table and actually like have a night, you know, because 
Um, I know I'm old fashioned and all that jazz, but the truth is the more time a family can spend together doing something, watching a movie, playing a game, but spend time together engaged with each other instead of their various devices like mom being on her phone and the kids being on their phones or on their FaceTime and dad being on his thing and um, cousin Charlie who came over is on his phone interacting with one of the other kids but the rest of the family is kind of like left out. You, you, you see what I'm saying? Um, and we still got board games, we still got miniatures games, we still have the whole hobby thing going and the tighter a family is doing stuff face to face learning nonverbal cues um actually learning how to deal with i'm mad at what you did and i don't have the anonymity of the internet to be a total jerk to you because you know you're right there and i gotta face the consequences right there you know always a good thing not saying there's anything wrong with being on your phone and all that stuff just like you're probably watching us right now um but we seek balance in all things Okay, we really, we, we, you know, sometime with the phone, sometime with the fam, sometime, you know, with the bay, you know, a little bit of time goes a long way with everybody. So, um, we are going to be over at Kingdom Con this, um, or next weekend. And, um, we're looking forward to that meeting new gamers, checking out some of the new games. Hopefully we'll have some battle reports coming up and we just get to see the rest of the world. Now... This weekend, as you guys know, um, we went over to WonderCon and we hooked up with our boy Michael from ThatNerdSoul.com. Um, That's ThatNerdSoul. And um, let me see if I can pull up the website here real quick. I got so many tabs open. Um, that Nerd Soul. I love it when I keep caps locks on. There we go. Yep, video podcast. And again, as you guys will see in the video, like this dude, this dude does what we do. Uh, woo, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Hey, Krista, how you doing? Yeah, and um, yep, hip hop plus nerd plus soul. You know, and he's been doing the Black Lightning reviews. He's actually been making all the movies and doing stuff. A lot of stuff that we don't cover. Um, mainly because we don't have the manpower, but still a lot of stuff that we don't cover, a lot of stuff that's kind of in our wheelhouse, but not quite in our wheelhouse. But again, um, this, this, this man, he puts in the work. He puts in the work and his stuff is amazing. Um, I met him over at Long Beach Comic Con a couple of weeks ago. And since then, I totally geeked out on everything on his website on his youtube channel um I, i've been checking out all of his uh, reviews he's actually doing an episode by episode review of american gods and he has guests come on just doing that whole stuff and it's great to know that we over here at back on the deck are not just not alone but there are some good people and i mean better than us <laughs> actually doing it so this is real cool this is real cool and we got to sit down and have a bit of an interview with him um, at um, at the Comic-Con. So let's uh, have a little check of that. And, well, you know, again, six-minute interview, and you guys will honestly check it out. And he interviewed us, so we did this thing at the same time. So if you want to see what we had to say, um, head on over to his um to his youtube channel i'll put the link up there or something i'll figure out how to do that but it'll definitely be down in the doobly-doo okay it'll be down there in the doobly-doo so um check it out but with that let's see um hey deckers what's going on this is solar gray the cinematic sorcerer coming at you well, right now we're live but you're watching this on the post recording just to make sure that i got all the editing right here with my man nerd soul what is going on bro <laughs> now real quick now nerd soul i have been looking for you all day we ran into each other at long beach well, comic-con right and we're just i'm like oh wait a second you give the people of color reviews on popular culture things like luke cage and all that stuff but yes. but but that's what i do but i will okay i will look at your stuff and i'm like well you know what he's just a little bit more charismatic than me 
and more comfortable behind the gun. <laughs> you know, so I'm like, you know what? He gonna be at WonderCon. I'm gonna hunt him down. I'm gonna be at WonderCon. Yeah, and you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna collaborate with this dude. I'm gonna see you. That's right. We are gonna form the network to make everything bigger and to get our word out there. Um, so, what made you wanna get in the game, man? Uh, what actually made me want to start doing just more of a, a, a serious push towards like media content is. Oh, yeah. I was complaining about the comic book industry as far as pundit and commentary went. I was complaining Are you saying a lot. that there wasn't much representation within the realms of press and, and artistic merit within <laughs> comic and geek culture? Uh, 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 I, I, how dare you, sir? How dare you? Uh, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> I, I wasn't seeing a lot, and I started complaining a lot. Right. And it got to the point where I was like, you know what, I need to stop complaining and start making stuff because I already know how to kind of like shoot, edit, oh. stuff like that. So I was like, so you heard your mama. Yeah. Oh, if you're going hey, to be, if you're going to be complaining all the time, why don't you do something why about it? Why don't you do something? Make yeah. something. So I started making things. Right. Uh, I started covering stories that I thought were important to me, to my community, the people that I represent. Right. And so, and helping us tell our stories. Like I do Rock the Spot, which uh -huh. lets uh, people that are like creators, uh, entrepreneurs that are black doing their thing, tell their stories. Uh, right. Whether it's for entrepreneurism, their life. And I also cover stuff like Star Trek Discovery, Doom Patrol, right. different podcasts and videos to show that there's more representation out there other people that are looking at different films that might not get covered all the time uh like you know sometimes we're overlooked when it comes to the tv shows whether it's actors or actresses or the actual project itself what so are you I'm talking just trying about to... everybody likes the Chappelle show <laughs> and wayne brady is holding it down for all of us i mean yeah <laughs> <laughs> on mondays um our show that's not trying to ride you or anything, oh, no. but it's called um, Bust a Recap, where ah. uh, a friend of mine and I sit down and we do an episode by episode analysis of shows and movies that we're watching on Netflix and, and that's, Amazon. That's what's up because <laughs> I can't cover every single pers <laughs> I can't cover every single show or every perspective. So that's why we need both. Wait, of you us can't? Stuff. I, nah, I can't. I, it would be but cool. You're supposed to be able to do everything. <laughs> Don't you know? You're doing this now, so you're supposed to know everything and, and have the do skill everything. set of everything and, and do everything and not sleep. Don't not, you sleep? No, no sleeping, no eating, no being tired. Just make videos. You don't get to be tired. Just make videos. Make them and videos. Give them that free content. Give it to them. Give it to them. <laughs> so, in fact, why are you here with me? Why aren't you out there making? Why you ain't videos? making videos? Oh wait, we are. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, we are making videos. Oh, when we aren't say. We? <laughs> so yeah. Um, you know what I love? Like, I know we seem like those Key and Peele's, those Key and Peele valets. <laughs> I'd say try Outlaw Star. Okay, Outlaw Star. I, I was, I thought you were going to go for Captain Harlock or the irresponsible Captain Tyler. You know what? Captain Harlock isn't a mode. bad look. <laughs> isn't a bad look. Then if you're into series, like series, like massive series, like never in series. Legends of Galactic got, Heroes. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you got Dragon Ball, you, you got, got One Naruto, Piece. you got Bleach, you got One Piece. One Piece has about that 265 million episodes. Yeah, that was a whole <laughs> lot of pieces for One Piece. Yo, One Piece is so long, <laughs> I saw it and I was just like, nah, I'm cool, I'm cool. I'll just watch stuff online, I'm cool. You I'm, know, I'm it took me a while to find out about <laughs> Luffy's curse. Because I'm like, look, I'm like, hydrophobic. No, I'm hydrophobic, all right? So that that's a big thing for me. I'm afraid of what's in the water. I'm afraid of the True. water. Because we've seen, we've seen video down there. Well, that and, it's you know, crazy. I'm black. So, you know, you, mm. they talk about us getting on boats and we're always a bit leery. You can find I know me. your YouTube oh. site. All right, cool. All right? That, that's a nerd soul on YouTube. That's right. But, um, you know, with, oh, I don't know, your 16 playlists with all of your hashtag titles. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you can find me at that nerd soul. That's T H A T N E R D S O U L. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, videos, podcasts, tons of stuff. Uh, wherever you get your podcast at, you can just search nerd soul N E R D S O U L. Holla at your boy. And if you ever want to talk Wu Tang or you want to talk Star Wars, let I me know. know, man. That ain't nothing to know. mess with. That, yo, straight up, <laughs> I was just listening to Wu Tang today, and it was talking about the torture when it was like, it's like, it's like keep feeding you. I can't even do the rest of the, the bit, but Method Man and Raekwon were hilarious in that skit. But, guys, you know, hey, look, thank you for hollering us. Thank you for chilling with us for a couple of seconds. And from us to you, it's peace, and now he going to yeah. do his, his out. Yeah.
And, and again, I am happy that I am here with Mr. Nerd Nerdsoul, who found me at lunch. So I'm like, you saved me so much investigation. I hate what you've been yeah, to. that's right. I've been trying to look for you. But we're going to get out here and get you guys some more footage and some more virtual walking around yeah. of everything that's going on here at WonderCon. Because it's a lot. Yep. So remember, everybody, if anybody tells you that you can't have the hobby you like because of the circumstances of your birth, be it race, religion, creed, gender identity, sexual orientation, your disability, or your budget, you tell yeah. them that I said to take that card and put it back in the deck. This is Solar Gray, the Cinematic Sorcerer, saying we will see you guys from WonderCon. Should I say, um, yeah, that guy. Uh, um, just real happy. And again, over down there in the doobly-doo is the link to his side of the interview. Because um, when we filmed that, we had both cameras going at the same time. It was amazing. And um, just head over to his side if you guys want to see him ask me questions and all that stuff. Um, and with that, I'm going to say um, thank you guys for showing up one more time. And... If anybody tells you that you can't have the hobbies that make you smile because of the circumstances of your birth, be it race, religion, creed, gender identity, sexual orientation, your disability, or your budget, you tell them that we said to take those cards and put them back in the deck. This is Solar Grid, the Cinematic Source. We're saying thank you guys for showing up, and we will talk to you guys later.